six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine ignition and lift off of the Atlas V.
so that's why the bottom part of the rocket falls off on purpose. And so then away they go. Now what they showed... So far has begun the eliminate. Uh, what they showed was the, the front of the space rocket. Remember how it had that first stop on it? Eventually, that's basically to get it through the air. So there's no... Uh, uh, so it doesn't ruin the spacecraft. Our old time operation looks very good. Eventually, they don't need that anymore. They're on, Eventually, on they're on the air. So that part falls off. And it'll pick up our RCS like thermal decay Now, this is a simulation. This is a computer simulation. This is not an actual view. <laughs> so, this is based on what they have is they've got it hooked up to the actual data coming from the rocket. And so, this way they're able to show what the rocket is, what it's actually doing. So, our PU has gone to close with control. And obviously, someone is bringing the view of the spacecraft a little closer to us. That's why we saw it kind of move. It's uh, requesting a fuel rich condition. The engine response is hopeful for this sentence ratio. Um, Doug was saying his boss was uh, telling him to get off the phone. Mark Robinson, Dr. Mark Robinson, um, is the person in charge of the lunar reconnaissance order. Current altitude is 105 so nautical miles, downrange distance is 600. Miles. The is 1224 miles per hour. It's using the rotation of the Earth to kind of help push it in that direction. Occasionally, very occasionally, you'll get the spacecraft going in the other direction or going. Uh, All star systems look stable at this point, too. Late. But this one is definitely not very well. And we have had the format change. Slight loss of data as expected. How many minutes will it take for the spacecraft to get to the dark side of the moon? Yes, how many minutes will it take for the spacecraft to get to the dark side of the moon?